So the other day I was sitting back uh, scrolling through social media and I seen a video of a guy uh, making a statement about um, him and his brother beating up uh, a student that goes to his his uh, daughter's school parent because that student kept bullying his daughter. Um, immediately, I rush to the comment section and I see people having a lot of issues with it. I send it out to a few friends. People start talking back to me. They start sending me what they're seeing over online. And it seems like a lot of people had an issue with this. Uh, the, the parent didn't do anything, so they shouldn't be involved. But it's I feel like it's your child. I feel like your child is bullying my child. Your child is uh, assaulting my child at school. We went and sit down and have a meeting. Uh, we sat with the school. We met with parents. We met with the children. And your child is still bullying my child. I can't beat up your child. But, you know, me and you can have this out because we're both adults. It, you know, and if I'm going to get an assault charge, I'd much rather get an assault charge on an adult than a, than a child. So, you know, when I see a lot of people commenting that they didn't like this and they thought that this was wrong for him to him and his brother to beat up the parent. I don't see an issue with it. I think that we have to start learning how to control our kids. We have to start letting our kids know that other people love their kids just like how we love you. And other people are willing to go to bat for their child and even harder than some of your parents at home. Uh, so a lot of people do not want you assaulting their kids, bullying their kids, touching their kids. Send my school, my, I send my child to school to learn. I don't send my child to school to learn how to fight. I didn't send my child to school to learn how to dodge fights. I didn't send my child to school to learn how to get picked on. I didn't send my child to school to do the dozens. I send my child to school strictly for social, um, a social meeting of, uh, interacting with friends in a good way and learning. So when my child come home and feel like he's being bullied or she's being bullied or she's being beaten on, and you as a parent went there to rectify this issue that you have numerous meetings. Uh, some parents, they don't care about numerous meetings. The moment you put their, your hands on their child, it's a problem. It's an issue for them. And they don't, they don't want that at all. But with this particular uh, uh, situation, they had meetings. So they meet with the, with the school. I, the parents meet, they meet with the children and school, and that child still does whatever it wants to bully. Uh, I feel like there's a miscommunication with the parent and the child there, because I don't know if, as a parent, I need to have this much conversation with my child. The moment my child, in fact, I don't like bullies. The moment I hear that my child is a bully, there's consequences for that bullying actions off the bat. So I don't understand how, as a, a parent, um, you hear that your child is bullying somebody. We went to have a sit down, sit down with the school. We have numerous sit downs and there's no rectification to the problem. I think that you, the parent, is the problem here. Because either the parent is not uh, standing on business, as we would say, to let that kid know that this should never happen again, or this parent is out there probably influencing this child to, yeah, that's what you do. You let these, you know, uh, I've been around that type of parent before of telling their kids, you do this and you do that. And I'm like, ah, uh, that's not a good idea. You're going to do this and that to the wrong parent um, person's kid. And that parent's going to want to do this and that back to you and you. But I understand that, um, you know, uh, everyone don't have a stable parent uh, background in their life. So uh, it might not be a father. It might not be a strict mother to be able to stand on business, as I say, with this child. But I do know that when it comes to uh, other people's kids, that you should make sure that your kid is not the one out there bullying them. You should always, no matter how much there is a disconnect with you and that kid, you need to find some type of way to draw them back in to make them know that this is not the bright idea. This is not how you handle this situation. This is not how we do this. So I don't have an issue with him and his brother beating up, uh, beating up the parents. He could beat up the parents, the grandparents. You're going to learn to keep your hands off of my child to leave my child alone. Whatever I got to beat you, your, 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 your mommy, your, your daddy, your uh, grandma, grandpa, grand uncle. We got to run through the whole family for you to leave my child alone. Then though, we got to do that. We can't, we cannot allow you to let my child live in misery. I can't do that. 
as a parent, as the guardian, as the protector of my child, I have to step in and do something. And doing such might be whooping some, you know? So I understand that as a parent. I agree with the, I agree with the whooping. Now y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'm out of here, yo. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs>